ऑल सेट एंड वेयरिंग टू गो रिकवरी मेरी अच्छी रही है आठ आठ नौ दिन हो चुके अभी जिस दिन से मुझे कोविड हुआ था तो हमें हमने देखा है कि हर एक प्लेयर जो जिनको भी कोविड हुआ है अलग अलग तरीके से उन्होंने रिस्पॉन्ड किया है तो अभी भी मुझे पता नहीं कि आगे क्या होगा बट एट द मोमेंट अभी मेरे को सब ठीक लग रहा है मैंने ट्रेनिंग तीन दिन पहले शुरू की थी तो इसीलिए मैंने इस गेम में हिस्सा लेने का वो किया कि क्योंकि मुझे बॉडी वाइज बेहतर लग रहा है और अभी सिम्टम्स तो कुछ है नहीं दो दो तीन टेस्ट भी करवा लिए सारे नेगेटिव निकले तो बस आई आई एम जस्ट लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू द गेम इट्स गुड बी एन एक्साइटिंग वन रोहित गुड टू सी यू बैक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल is is this the series through which you are starting the your preparation for the t20 world cup like some of the youngsters this can be a good england can be a good side to face so exposure against this team will help them uh, leading up to the t20 world cup um uh, of course uh, keeping one eye at the world cup definitely uh, uh, you know I, i wouldn't say it's a preparation every game for india uh matters to us uh, so we want to c- come here and try and tick every boxes that we have um and make sure we get our job done as simple as that as 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 much as we want to keep one eye on the world cup we want to make sure that we are getting the job done here as well uh um yes of course there are a lot of younger players who are getting the opportunity uh, to represent the country uh, uh coming off uh Uh, through the performances uh, for their state team ipl teams uh, so they deserve their opportunity and uh, like you clearly said uh, england is going to be a very challenging team for us uh, and i'm pretty sure uh, these boys have been here for a while they went to ireland uh, played couple of practice games here and uh, yeah now we we'll look forward to this uh, t20 series and thereafter uh, the odi series as well Uh, Roy, by good to see you back. Uh, obviously, you had a long session with Vivian Lakshman. Uh, so, what was the interaction about? And uh, coming back after the, the break, and obviously unforced break, someone that you didn't have any hand on. So, how was it like to get back to going, get back to the nets, practicing, and the interaction, whole interaction with Lakshman during the nets? Yeah, look, it's always good to be back playing for your country, uh, no doubt. Uh, and uh, you don't want to miss any games for your country. uh but certain things are not in your control uh, uh it's beyond your control so yes now that i'm back i'm pretty excited looking forward uh and speaking about uh, the interaction yes i just wanted to uh, understand what was happening with the team for all this while i today is the first day i joined the team uh, you know they've been traveling to ireland and they played a couple of practice game as well so just you know trying to understand uh what sort of mindset uh, boys are in uh, you know how the preparation has been uh, for each individual uh, so yeah it was just about catching up on those things which i wasn't part of so obviously it's always nice to understand what is happening within the team uh, so do you have any um, symptoms of covid it was hard to to watch to watch from the sidelines uh, that test Yeah, it was very hard to watch it from the sidelines. It's it's never an easy situation uh, when you uh, miss games, and especially an ex- uh, important game like that uh, where the series was on the line for us. Um, but uh, speaking of uh, the symptoms, yes, the, the couple of days uh, I was struggling a little bit, uh, but uh, uh, I'm happy that I'm standing back on my feet, uh, nice and healthy. uh as as i look forward to this uh, t20 series and obviously followed by the odi series as well um uh, so yeah it's always nice uh, you know uh, to get back and get back get back playing that's the most important thing and i'm excited like i said uh, just uh, excited to be on the field and uh, getting along with the boys any question mike yeah um probably just about guys just walk past him around malak he's sort of impressed everyone in the ipl can you tell us a bit about him and will you be looking to use him in the middle overs as someone with that extra pace to sort of 
testing them out against the short ball? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, he is very much in our plans. Uh, you know, uh, it's just uh, trying to, um, you know, give him that understanding as to what the team requires from him as well. Uh, yes, there will be times um, where, uh, you know, we want to try out a few guys and Umran is definitely one of those guys where keeping one eye on the World Cup, we want to see what he has to offer for us. Uh, uh, is definitely an exciting prospect. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, we all saw it, uh, uh, you know, during the IPL. Uh, he can bowl fast. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's just about giving him that role. Whether he wants to, whether we want him to bowl with the new ball or we want to use him in the middle overs, back end, things like that. Uh, because you know, when you play for the franchisee, the roles are different. Uh, as compared to when you play for your national team because you know uh, there are a lot of guys uh, here with specific skill set uh, and you want to try and utilize those um, so yeah it's just about understanding how you can fit in those individuals and give them that uh, role clarity well, I know it's a, a different group and a different format but what impact is the result that Edgebaston had on these players here any even hungrier to win this series now <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I mean, it's you, you want to you want to have that hunger all the time. Uh, you know, when you play this sport, uh, whether it's your batting performances, whether your bowling performances, whether you uh, whether you want to achieve uh, success as a group, uh, you always got to be uh, hunger for that success, and I certainly see that in the group. Uh, clearly, I mean, I spoke to a few of those guys here. Uh, uh, I mean, obviously, they know the, they know the result, but they didn't watch the game. Uh, obviously, you know, it's it's a bit disappointing not to uh, come out on the winning side. But I mean, clearly, it's a different format. Uh, I, I mean, the time will tell whether that result has impacted, uh, you know, this format of our preparation. Uh, it's you know, it's a different format, different set of players who are going to take the field uh, for us uh, but yeah I, I mean talking about these guys who've been here for a while they've been playing some really good cricket uh, you know and England uh, obviously uh, is a different side you know a lot of those guys who won the test match at Edgebaston are not here so it's a different side for both teams uh, you know uh, and I'm pretty sure you know whenever there is a tussle between England and India. It's always a very uh, uh, highly watched contest, uh, and you know, great fight between bat and ball. That's always been the case when we play against England. And this time around, we are not expecting anything different. It's going to be the same, uh, no matter what sort of team they play or what sort of team we play. I mean, everyone's who will be picked tomorrow uh, uh, to take the field, they'll be quite hung. Uh, they'll be quite hungry. Uh, for the team to go out there and achieve some success, so uh, you know uh, it's it's always been the case. And like I said, uh, there's no difference uh, this time around. Uh, you know, um, we we want to go out there and display our skill set, uh, what we have. Uh, these guys, like I said, they they've been here for a while, preparing well for this particular series. Um, and at the same time, England, obviously, those guys who've been picked in the squad, they've been playing some T20 cricket off late as well. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a great contest between the